Hello everybody. In this video, we'll understand something about numbers, data types, and Python. So let's move ahead. Now, what are number data types? Number data types store numeric values in Python. They are immutable data types, meaning changing the value of a number data type results in a newly allocated object. So number objects are created when you assign a value to them. Python basically supports four different numerical types. The first being int, which are signed integers. They are often called just integers or ints, and they are positive or negative whole numbers with no decimal point. Second, we have long, long integers, which are also called as longs. They are integers of unlimited size, written like integers and followed by an uppercase or lowercase l. Then we have float, which are floating point real values, also called floats. They represent real numbers and are written within a decimal point, dividing the integer and the fractional part. As you can see over here, we have floating point numbers like this, which have the decimal point, which divide the number into different parts. And floats may also be in scientific notation with e or uh, capital E or small e, dependingly, including the power of ten. Then we have complex numbers as well. As you know, complex numbers have real parts and imaginary parts. They are of the form a plus b j, where a and b are floats and j represents the square root of minus one. The real part of the number is a, and the imaginary part is b. Complex numbers are not used much in Python programming, although, whereas we do have a option available to us. Then we have various operations which we can perform over our number uh, types inside Python. The first being x or y, the or operation, which we call as the logical or operation. Now, what does this operation does is when you apply the or operation over two number data types x and y, y is evaluated only if x is false, which means that. The answer will come out to be false only in the condition when both x and y are false. Even if any one of them is true, the answer will evaluate to true. Next, we have x and y, which is the logical and operation. So, if you're going to apply the logical and op operation over x and y, then y is evaluated only if x is true. Which means that even if any one of them is false the outcome will evaluate to false so the outcome to be evaluated to true both of them must be true next we have the logical negation so if you're going to apply the logical negation over x then it will have the opposite value which means that if x is true it will evaluate to false and if it is false it will evaluate to true if you're going to apply the logical negation next we have object identity test which you can apply as x is y or x is not y. Then we have magnitude comparison. You can compare the magnitude of various uh, number type values. For example, if you have two number type values x and y, then you can compare their magnitude using the less than operator, the less than equal to operator, the greater than operator and the greater than equal to operator. Next, we have value equality operators to specify whether two values are equal or not. We have the equal to equal to and not equal to sign for that. As you can see over here, if two values, the magnitude of two values is equal, you can say equal to equal to and if it is not equal, you can say not equal to. Next, we have bitwise or you can apply this over bitwise numbers. So if you have two bitwise numbers x and y, we apply the or operation over them, then it is called bitwise or. Similarly, you have bitwise xor bitwise and and left shift and right shift so which can be applied over bits basically so all these operations are applied over bits then we have the addition operation which is the general mathematical operation and then we have the subtraction operation which is applied generally as it is applied in arithmetic next we have the multiplication operation so if you're going to multiply two number type values, you can specify the multiplication symbol. Then we have the percentile operation. So if you're going to find out the remainder of two numbers. So basically, if you're going to apply the percentile operator between X and Y, it will evaluate to the remainder it gives. Then we have the division operation, which is the normal mathematical operation. And then we have the negation as well as the identity, whether a number is negative or positive. And then we have bitwise not. So if you're going to 
apply the bit wise not it is going to get applied over bit numbers over bits and the negation is going to convert it into the opposite and then we have the par operation if you're going to raise a number to a certain power you can use this particular operator which is the par operation so that's all for various number data types and number operations in python that's all for this video